Peace, y'all. It's your boys over King Street, Fame 47. Yo, I was going to have a little conversation, but I was having with my homeboy um, the other day. One of my homeboys and shit. Yo, um, I like my glasses, bitch. My boy said I look like Elton John with these shits on. I just talked to my, I was just, my homeboy just came on uh, through and bought a hat and shit. He said, yo, why you got them Elton John glasses on? Nigga got jokes. But I ride around with mad pairs of sunglasses, bro, because I sell them. Y'all know I already sell them, dog. You know what I'm saying? I, just, nigga, I ride around the whole front seat full of sunglasses. I switch them out, put them on. It's whatever. That's my, <coughs> that's one of my hustles. I'm going to put the website up. I'm going to put the website up. You know, I do the tees too. I'm the only one in Orlando with the Orlando tees like this. I'm the only one doing them. I'm just saying, because niggas been biting my swag, my nigga. Hey, niggas been biting all the shit that I've been doing, bro. I'm putting it up on the internet and printing their own shit. Like, it's them doing that design. That shit's funny, but I'm a trendsetter, you heard? Anyway, aside from all that, I want to talk to you about the culture of hip-hop. When we're talking about trendsetting, you know what I'm saying? So, I want to talk to you about the culture of hip-hop. Because, um... I told my dog the other day, man, fuck hip hop. I lost the love for hip hop. I was a hip hop junkie, bro. Listen, I could spit all of that. You know what I'm saying? I could rap probably better than any rappers, the new rappers that's out right now. Guaranteed. Listen, I lost my love for the hip hop culture, bro. You know what I'm saying? reason I say that is because I know that the culture got sold out for money. Something that came from nothing. Something that came from the have-nots. And, and and it's a worldwide thing right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a worldwide. LL Cool J told academics that it's a worldwide thing, a worldwide income at that. You know what I'm saying? From people that had nothing. It's true, my nigga. It's a worldwide thing, bro. It's a worldwide influence. This is why I want to talk about the attacks on hip hop. Not only from the not only from the government, from the white folks, whatever you want to call them, crackers, man, whatever. Not only from them, man. You got your own people, man. You got people targeting rappers to rob them. You got targeting police ass niggas like Charleston White trying to lock niggas up. You got all kinds of shit and it's all targeted at the motherfucking hip hop culture. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think y'all realize that. I don't think y'all realize that. I don't think you realize it uh, through the messages that 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 come out from these artists that they're sellouts. These are the type of people you cannot have around you if you a nigga in the street, a real live street nigga. My bad, the camera fell out, but we in Florida. And the sun be beaming so hard that shit is melting the, the little suction thing off the glass. But listen, them the type of people you can't have around you, man. Anybody that money motivates them and money move them, it's real hard uh, to keep them type of characters around you when you're in the street. And right now, the hip-hop game is like the streets right now. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to be leery of what's going on. There's a lot of things going on with with the culture right now and there's a lot of people trying to lead you a certain way in this culture that have no idea about the culture they're just getting paid to lead you that way you feel me and um some of them know it and some of them don't the one that knows it and still does it is it more dangerous than the one that don't the one that don't is just most of the time they're young kids you know what i'm saying but the culture is under attack and it's been under attack and it's been sold out you know what I'm saying? So I lost respect for... I lost respect for uh, the culture because of that. I won't say the whole culture in, in, in general. I say the artists and representatives of this culture. And then, I don't like what's going on with the old heads. I don't like what's going on with the young kids. I don't like the young kids snitching on themselves and being manipulated to think... They have to be a part of a gang and put up guns in their videos and and, 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 and all that bullshit. And then, they, you know, they got a Rico whack and they're getting locked up and they're getting fucking 40 years and all these crazy ass sentences. And they're only 16, 18, 20 year old kids. Kodak Black is like 23 years old, man. He's a kid, bro. 
I could be his dad. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, for the older heads to shit on these little niggas, I don't like that, and I don't like what the little niggas is doing um, to an extent neither. I don't care. I'm not talking about the music. I'm talking about telling on yourselves and all that extra bullshit is getting y'all locked up. And then I, I feel like it's the older heads' fault in the culture because the older heads, they ain't really passing the torch they're with knowledge. They're just watching the shit go down and they're not saying nothing. And a lot of them saying ain't saying nothing because they're getting paid not to say nothing and the other half is just hating. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. And I, and I feel like the culture is under attack. There's so many different... Um, um, angles, bro. You know what I'm saying? That I can't even cover it all in one video. You understand? So, like, even even with the rainbow agenda, you you know what I mean? Why why is this not? Why you don't see rainbow cowboys? Where they at, dog? Where are the rainbow cowboys, bro? And I ain't talking about little Nas X. He ain't no cowboy. You feel me? He ain't no cowboy. He just came out with that goofy ass song. I'm going to the dispensary to get me some gummies, bro, and some other stuff, because I need my medicine, bro. But, yeah. So I'm on the road, and I'm dropping this for y'all real quick. But where are the rainbow cowboys and the rainbow uh, rock and roll stars and all that crazy shit? Where they at? <clears throat> Why nobody getting signed and country music is dying? Why nobody getting signed and rock and roll is dying? It's only hip hop. It's only hip hop that could bring a Chinese, a Arabic, a Muslim, well, Arabic could be a Muslim, whatever. You know what I'm saying? A white boy, a, a Irish man, a Puerto Rican, a Jamaican, all together in one room and do a song or DJ or breakdance or have a battle graffiti in, and still be not be enemies just having fun so maybe that's why but I feel the culture was sold out by the older heads for money because it came from nothing see academics said something but academics academics said niggas looking like bums and all beat up and all that crazy shit and and um, I, I must no disrespect to any elders. I, you know what I'm saying? I know a few of them myself. Um, of course, you seen what Jay Z said? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get them back for what they did to the Cold Crush. These people were ripped off by record labels, and the, the and all that experience that they went through, and all these um situations they went through, end up leading to people uh, like Jay Z and Puff Daddy and all that, and, and Master P and all these cats. You know what I'm saying? Baby and all them that to blow up and have their own. You know what I'm saying? Now you see these rappers are all dying. But they're dying with owning their masters, independent. But they ain't got a long track record in the music game as as when they was getting um pain, getting extorted by the record labels. Let's say that. You feel me? So of course they look because they they they. It was hip hop back then was new, bro. I remember when hip and hip hop, hip hop would be like there was like this is a fad. This is not gonna last. That's what they used to say about hip hop, bro. This is a fad. It's not gonna last. Still going to the day. Everybody bought a piece of it. Red Bull broke the breakdancing. Bought up the breakdancing shit. Niggas sold that shit out and they sold it to Red Bull. Everybody sold out, bro. And they let these white folks tell us how to, what our culture is, bro. And they telling our kids what our culture is and they don't know shit about our culture. So they pushing gang shit and rainbow agendas on, on our kids. And I lost respect for that because the niggas that's supposed to be standing up ain't standing the fuck up. That's it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gangster till when it's time to be gangster. I don't pass my motherfucking turn fucking around with y'all, man. Everybody gangster till it's time to be gangster on these motherfuckers. Then they, they, then what? Niggas sell out. Then you want to shit on these little niggas coming up. Talking about this is all they talk about. Yeah, because they're getting dictated to thinking that, you know what I'm saying? They're getting directed in that direction. Because y'all the gatekeepers of hip-hop. Y'all the old school heads. Why y'all ain't telling them? Why y'all ain't schooling them? But you shit on them. And you want them to respect you, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you. That's just how I go. You feel me? But um, that's why, I don't, that's why I lost love for the culture. I don't even write songs or none of that shit no more, bro. That's why I lost songs for the culture. I mean, I lost love for the culture, bro. 
You know what I mean? Cause I feel like nigga sold the sock, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nigga sold the sock. And, me and messed us up, bro. With this shit. Now I'm good, man. Shorty thick as hell trying to sell me some flowers. I ain't got no girl, so I ain't finna. Nigga, I'm single. I'm on my grind. Hey, I'm gonna put up my website speaking about my grind. She on her grind. I respect that, but I ain't, I ain't buying no flower. Riding around with a flower in my car for no reason. Hey, listen. I'm gonna put my website up, man. Y'all come check your boy out, man. I got all kinds of shit on there. I still haven't uploaded everything because it takes a long time, bro, to do all that. And I'll be moving. I got a lot of things going on. But, um, yeah, this is. I just wanted to talk about the culture of hip hop and talk about why I'm upset at the culture. And why I lost love for the culture. And I love hip hop. I don't think nobody loved the hip hop more than me. Of course, everybody feels like that. That raps and DJs, they feel they're the best and all that. Of course, you're supposed to feel like that. But I love, I mean, I was like a hip hop freak, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, that was just my shit. That was just my shit. But when I seen that, I felt like hip hop ain't love me back. When they sold, when they sold, when, cause you gotta realize that when you when you looking up to these old old school cats and and for y'all young cats nowadays, y'all be looking up to the younger cats, and then they find out later on like they just sell out your whole everything you believe in, like they just sell it out, and then you just there like damn nigga, I had so much love for this shit. That shit just bothers me, bro. I just rather not even deal with it, cause how you just gonna let that shit go to shit, son? That we put so much into, you know what I'm saying, as a culture, it's just crazy, things that they allow, like being bothered to be a pedophile, and all that, you know what I'm saying, all the old heads ain't say nothing about that, why, you know what I mean, why they ain't say nothing about that, money bro, so they ain't even care, they don't care if your kids get molested as long as they get money you know what I'm saying they should have been got bam out the game so all that shit came up just hits you and it's like yo you know what I don't want no parts to do with hip hop fuck hip hop you know what I'm saying that's just how I feel if I'm wrong beat me up in the comments bro cause that's all y'all gonna do beat me up in the comments if I'm wrong Got people talking crazy shit in the comments, some goofy ass nigga. Beat me up in the comments, man. Come on. But uh, yeah, man, that's it, man. That's all I want to say, bro. I'm finna do this U-turn and go to the dispensary, get my little meds and all that. But um, I just wanted to talk to y'all about the culture, hip hop, with everything, with everything going on, and uh, give you my take on it. You know what I'm saying? And also explain why I lost love for hip hop. But I know there's a war on hip hop. I still fight for it. I still fight that war, but I lost love for it. Which is crazy, huh?